Hi guys. Welcome back, or welcome if you're new. My name is Andrew, and today we're going to get into a collective reading. It is not sign-specific, and it is not time-specific. Whenever it may find you, and for whatever reason it finds you, allow your own intuitive faculties. Trust in yourself and your own discernment. Be the other half of this reading so that you can understand how it is applied to you, as this is a collective reading. This is a reading that is an offering that is meant to serve as many people as humanly possible. Okay? All right. I'm going to use different tools today. I'm going to use this beautiful ghost scanner that was given to me via my Amazon wish list by uh, a client, Jody. So shout out to Jody. Thank you, Jody. All of this is going to be linked in the description of this video if you're interested, including the tools I'm using. I'll be using some tarot cards. I may even be using a pendulum. We'll see. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. If you want to book a session with me or you're interested in anything that I have going on, all of that information will also be in the description of this video. I'm going to get into my prayer. We're going to pull some messages from the ghost scanner and then we will uh, we'll get going. Guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, benevolent beings of God's loving and great embrace and grace. We call upon you at this time. Please allow us to tune into the messages for the collective, those that are drawn here, those that will be drawn here, those that will watch. Thank you. We're so very blessed and thankful for this for this opportunity to connect. Archangel Mikael, please engulf us in your divine flame of purification and protection. Escort any energies of distortion to a place of evolution or dissolution now. Any entities to the womb of creation, if we may. Thank you. Archangel Raphael and Jovial, sit within my heart. Assist me as I expand my heart six feet in all directions. Assist me as I tune into my body and allow my body to be fully present in the receiving and transmutation or uh, transmission of these messages. The alignment of my body and heart. And the ultimate primary guiding intelligence of love. Thank you. Archangel Gabriel, sit within my throat. Allow my communication and the messages to be honest, authentic, potent, concise, divinely led. Thank you. The perfect words at the perfect time to the perfect ears. For the betterment of all and the harm of none. The sword of truth and the frequency strength of truth. Wiping away all distortion, sickness, and imbalance. Thank you. Archangel Metatron, sit within my mind. Allow my mind, my thoughts, my ego to be a balance, subdued. Allow my deficiencies to be at to be held at bay. Any any uh, personal things that are wanting to come through, allow me to be a complete channel for the divine message as intended and as necessary. I ask to be a channel today. I'm humbled. Thank you. We open the space to any ancestors or any uh, ancestral councils that want to come through and offer messages. We are open to any uh, star seed beings, star beings, those beings that have ascended beyond the place of which we are on earth now, those that have the best interest of humanity, those that are watching and paying attention with a loving eye. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's get this ghost box going. I forgot to mention, if you guys hear something that I don't, write it down in the comments. Let us know, okay? I'm trusting, and <laughs> this has been my favorite divination tool as of lately because it's so fun. But if you hear something that I don't, feel free to share that. Let's go. Oh, 
I just know it's Celtics. Many abuses. Many abuses. Friends. Right on the spot. You get what you get. A brand new you. You look at the records. Mean girls. New me. Top of the hour, brand new. <laughs> Absolutely free. Twenty years old. The most popular. What? Bad boys. You got a bunch of scratches. On my mama. Nazis. Nazis. 
Telluride today. Hey there, Savvy Mark. Hey there, Savvy something. Learn more at H. Learn more. Listen to me, secrets revealed. Across the universe. Enjoy the effect. We're going to stop there. We have enough. All right, so this is a collective reading. I'm going to go ahead and pull cards as I do. If you guys don't know anything about a ghost box, how this works is it will scan through the FM stations at a particular speed. And we are setting the intention for us to pick up at the perfect time, right? The same way we uh, see angel numbers and have certain synchronicities come up at certain times. That's exactly how this works in this way. So we're going to now pull some cards. Um, just kind of get a feel for the energy and then we're going to go through these different things that I picked up They're all very interesting and some of them are very specific. So let's go ahead and get into it <clears throat> And have some matcha mm, I want to use the global fusion tarot again all of these decks are going to be in the description box of this video Thank you, Spirit. Help us get clearer on this message or these messages for the collective. Thank you. What will serve? Thank you. What will serve in the clarity and the transmission? Thank you. I keep wanting to say transmutation, so I feel like that's a big thing right now. We're still in divine feminine season, so it's a lot about the dark, the shadow. The feminine aspects of us the intuitive right and a big part of that at this time and what's being offered is an opportunity to transmute there's so much heavy and people get so caught up just waiting for the time to pass everybody's in such a rush thank you for the confirmation spirit everybody's in such a rush we're all in such a rush right everybody wants to get there faster The first thing we have is many abuses, friends. I want to pull some cards on that one. We're going to go through every single one of these. The world card. This feels less about the physical world around you, and it feels more like the internet. <laughs> Um, quite honestly, we have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck, but the world card is coming up here for uh, many abuses friends. And I feel like this is like a cyclical thing, right? I would expect us to pull the wheel, but this feels like um, a new year, a new opportunity, um, a new cycle, a new world opening up to you. And there's an acknowledgement and a, and a, and a need for transmutation when it comes to I'm hearing the both-sided toxic aspects of friendships. Conditional love. It's like uh, you're entering a new world and not everybody can go with you, right? I talk about, you know, this poor soul. God, God bless her. You know, I'm not trying to uh, diminish her or uh, uh, express any kind of pity for her. But um, Shanquila Robinson is somebody who's been on my heart ever since she passed away why because she entered a new world a world where she was experiencing success expansion abundance 
and she chose to bring or chose to try and 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 bring her friends with her and they only killed her and they they did so when she was so generous as to bring them on, bring them on vacation with her you know we wonder why we don't talk about this as, as much why there's not as much conversation still being had or this uh this energy like you know spirit is really saying you know the many abuses of friends right the nostalgia can only take you so far at the bottom of the deck we have the high priestess you know that somebody it has been talking shit about you okay this is for somebody or some people you know that there's some friends here that you think that you think have changed they 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 wear the robes as if they have changed they wear the robes as if that they've evolved and they've become more because none of us have been perfect right we've all been expressing that that toxic and we know it comes from trauma and we get it and we know where it comes from especially with the people that we've spent so much time with we get it because we know essentially the origin story right but that's not enough that is not enough because they wear the robes as if they are with you but are they at the bottom of the deck again we have the ace of swords in the reverse this is li this is literally painting a picture of things being opposite of what they are say you're a giving person this is someone saying oh she's selfish he's selfish I firmly believe that certain times of year or certain times of the year illuminate certain things. And in Divine Feminine Season, there's a lot of focus on the dark sides. Our shadows are trying to show us things, right? They're trying to teach us how to see in the dark, how to see beyond the light and love and all of the goodness, right? There's so much, you know, the, the greatest light casts the greatest shadow, and so some people that are the most charismatic, the people that we feel and wish are the people that we could have beside us when we're winning are not always those people. I heard right on the spot, right? They know exactly your buttons. They know exactly where to press. And some of this is family. Some of this is friends. You guys use your own discernment, like I said, to be and to receive. You are the other half of this reading. And the Four of Swords in the reverse. I don't know who this is for, but when you're up at night and you're stressed and you're hurt and you're crying and you're going through your own shadow work and you wish that you had somebody to talk to, not that you need one, not that you are not a divine being, a shining light that can, a star that can shine in the dark, the loneliest and brightest star. And stars can only be bright if they are lonely. Not always, though. When that sun comes around, you see all the other stars. And so you know who's for you and who's not. And those that burn up in the light of the sun, you know, are not for you. But someone here is not able to hold space for you when you go through what you go through. They don't have space for you when you're not perfect. They don't know how to handle you when you're hurting. Conditional love. I'm hearing be careful who you drink with. This person knows how to touch the spot. It's like we're playing a game of Jenga or no, we're building a tower, right? A skyscraper. Right. The people that that we've known for a long time, they know us well enough to know where the blueprints and where the points in the blueprint are weak. So they know if they target this one spot on this one floor of this tower, it will all come down. And a lot of this is done unconsciously. And I'm getting a lot of mother energies here, a lot of mother energies. Mother, aunties, older women. With the Ace of Cups in the reverse, it's like, is there any love left? Does this person even have any emotions? This person spills out their emotions. It feels like they, uh, someone here cuts. 
okay? So I don't know if it's you or the other person, but someone here cuts themselves. It's like they're spilling out their emotions. They're spilling out their feelings. Yeah, the five of wands in the upright position. Spirit is saying protect yourself. You might, if you are the one cutting, you might be uh, triggered by this person not even realizing it. This person being around you or being around this person resurrects. Somebody here used to hurt themselves or harm themselves. And something about you know resurrecting this person and because you're so humble or you try to be so humble and so um accountable of yourself you don't even consider that it could be this person you don't even consider that this, you, you want to see this person the way that they want to be seen because you're like well i'm not that perfect i'm not that you know listen i have my faults like yeah you do you do but still where there's smoke there's fire and i'm seeing a lot of smoke here they want me to read this card, the specific definition in the deck. Hold on, y'all. Five of Wands. Sticks, forgive me. It's sticks in this deck. The Five of Sticks is the voice of your elders cautioning you of the danger associated with playing with fire. These are forces that you may try to invoke or conditions that you attempt to create which you may not be able to control. The voodoo or five venomous creatures serve simultaneously as a warning and as a remedy, using poison to create an antidote or fighting fire with fire. When you encounter the five of sticks, it may, it may portend a time of anxiety, conflict, disagreement, strife, or anger. Interesting. I feel like, you know, if you feel like you're randomly being sucked into arguments here, and I don't know why, but I'm feeling like arguments with people that just run off, run away. If you find yourself stuck in arguments with people or find yourself like, how did I get here? I was having a great day. And now all of a sudden I'm over here like defending myself and arguing about this. And now this person's mad. I'm getting somebody's coming up with reasons to be mad because they want to fight. Spirit is saying this person is like, they cause you to want to hurt yourself. Why? Because they know the spot. The ghost scanner message is right on the spot. I heard you get what you get. This person, this person is like, somebody here is uh, getting married or something like that, or there's something, and, and this person has agreed to do something, or there's some kind of big event. This person has agreed to do something, and now they're kind of like, uh, giving the bare minimum and saying like you get what you get i'm busy i don't know what you want me to do you know what i mean it's like they want to be a part of it they want to be that bitch or be considered that person in your life but they're not actually doing the thing for others of you this person is like giving you the bare minimum you know this message is purely for those that are not are are still grappling with their trauma and their triggering to the point where they are unable to uh, discern whether or not somebody is giving equal exchange in their lives, whether somebody actually is worthy of the exchange with you. I heard a brand new you. Look at the records, Mean Girls. Look at the records. Mean Girls, what is that about? Look at the records of Mean Girls. Somebody here is at a dorm. Somebody here is at a dorm. Oh, uh, this is a very specific message. I don't know who this is for, or maybe this can be interpreted in different ways for different people, but somebody's at a dorm or at college. Somebody's dating somebody or very seriously dating somebody. Um, they're friends with somebody who has the records of who comes in and out um, of, of a partner or somebody. Uh, it's like if you check the records, you'll see that the person that you thought was your friend is visiting somebody that you've been dating or something like that. There's something about looking at the cameras, looking at the records. If you have house cameras or, or a ring, bell, um, they're saying look at the records. Yeah, someone's hiding something from you. It's like, this is really shysty because it kind of feels like 
bro, somebody here is, is they know that there's an opportunity. It's like somebody, somebody, it's like, for example, say you, you do readings, right? This is the only example I can think of because spirit is trying to show me something about myself too. Say someone's like, oh, he does readings. Let me get his number. She does readings. Let me get her number. Let me get her website. And they're like, nah, they're busy right now. They're not taking any more readings. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Since when? I've never, I've never said that. I mean, maybe it might be true, but I didn't tell you that. What is your reason for wanting to hide this? Somebody here is jealous. And like, you know, that's like a typical, like, you know, these messages make me uncomfortable because I'm like, how much of this is ego, right? But no, spirit is saying, you know, sometimes it is what it is, okay? If it smells like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. And with the temperance card in the reverse, this is the energy of a fallen angel kind of energy or someone who has fallen from grace, right? So it's like we are confused about this person because this person always felt or feels or has felt like they have a potency of something divine, right? You know, some of our families be the one, you know, God forgive us and there's always going to be love there. But some of our families is like some angels have fallen in that family and you know, sometimes it's for karmic reasons. Like sometimes they're supposed to challenge us and initiate us in their own darkness. But this feels very different. This feels like someone who has specifically chosen. Someone here has chosen the dark. Someone here has blatantly said, you know what? I'm going to go the way of the devil. I'm going to go that way. I'm going to fuck with people. I'm going to pretend to be one thing and I'm going to be something behind closed doors. The snake is messing with me. This is witchcraft. There is some witchcraft up in here. No need to be afraid. Okay, the awareness is the awareness is <laughs> more than enough. <laughs> Spirit is saying. The awareness is more than enough. Literally to see it is to have it dissolve before it even gets anywhere near you. Okay? So because with the nine of swords, now they're in worry, now they're in anxiety, now they're trying to keep up with things. Listen, this thing is bouncing back. In the name of the Holy Spirit, I ask that this be transmuted. In the name of the Holy Spirit, I ask that whatever energy this is be sent back for the service of learning. And I pray that whoever this is, that they are able to release the, themselves of the limitations, the distortions that cause them to believe that this is the only way for them. You'll know who this is for some of you. You'll know who this is because this person is scratching the shit out of themselves. So they're scratching their heads. They're like leaving literal scars on their scalps. And they're like twisting their hair. And they're like fidgeting. They're biting their nails. They're freaking out because something is almost like it drives them crazy. It's like they're out here doing something here. And it's not even necessarily like, like I don't feel like they're sitting you know, and trying to do something on you. I feel like they're just trying to have you for themselves. There's a male here who has a female partner who's or ex-partner or something or ex-baby mom or something like that. She's trying to do some work to try to get you back. Um, it's like they're, they're not, she's not trying, this person's not trying to hurt you, whoever you are and for all of you guys, this person is not necessarily trying to hurt you as much as they're trying to control you. Mm. And they're the ones being controlled instead. They're being controlled by their shadows. They're being controlled by the darkness. They're being controlled by their own pain. They're having to face the music here. And so you wanting to make it easy for them, you wanting to, to blot their, their head from the sweat, you wanting to massage their feet and make them feel comfortable and bring them a care package that is a distorted ass um response they do not need your comfort collective they do not need it and you giving it is only hurting yourself let people toil in the pain they have caused for themselves so that they do not do it again and that they learn Ooh, that was an ancestor message right there some people for some of you guys it's because this person is jealous of your relationship and they want you to 
they want to control you so that you can step down so that you can be a, a friend to them that they can relate to and that they can feel safe with because they don't want to move out here's some shit people want to be with you but they don't want to leave their fucking prison cell so they want you to go with them okay we have top of the hour brand new absolutely free okay so i'm getting like a Some of you guys, you're out with this person or you're with this person and then like you're hanging out with them. Then, you know, literally like one hour passes and you're around other people and they act like brand new. Like, who are you? Like, we were just talking and now you're trying to start an argument with me in front of people like that's supposed to be playful. That's supposed to be like a debate. But in reality, you're trying to call me out and to embarrass me in front of people like don't fuck with me. You know what I mean? I'm getting like um, you're the new you. Right. And that's the thing that they don't get. They're trying to act like they're the brand new ones. They're trying to they're wearing these robes and these this mask as if they are the one who's new. They're not new. We have absolutely free free financing. OK, so someone here. Someone here is tripping over some money. We have 20 years old. Whatever that means for you guys, that's a little specific. We have the most popular. Listen, you can't help that people will gravitate towards you. You can't help it. And I kind of feel like who, whomever you guys are, you're not really big on parties anyway. But you're trying to, you're, you're, it's almost like you're, you're dealing with this depression and this alone energy or this whatever by trying to do more for, with other people. You're trying to say yes to the social engagements. You're trying to go out or you're trying to get out of, of a funk or whatever. The funk is serving you because the funk is showing you, right? There's something about that, right? Um, listening to our gut. There's something about being alone. We have bad boys, okay? You know, this person might hang around a lot of bad boys. This person might be a bad boy. And, and what is a bad boy, right? A, a bad boy is someone who um, is very selfish, doesn't care for themselves, and is not interested in being of service to the feminine, okay? Whomever... The feminine is whether they be male or female or even the feminine within themselves okay we have two one two breaking down to a five plus three five six seven eight eight plus nine seventeen seven plus one is eight 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 is, is infinity okay so it's like you're in a place where you're almost like in a momentum of infinite growth and because of that it's almost like they're them trying to keep up with you is trying to catch up with the bullet train when they're crawling they could never and it's not saying that you're better than them it's just saying that you built up a momentum and you built this for yourself and this energy of you desiring and yearning for that connection with the right people is confusing things with um nostalgia with old and and you know listen god bless you guys but some of you guys this is an x We've got, you got a bunch of scratches, okay? So, some of you guys got into a little bit of a fight or an altercation with this. Somebody got into a fight or altercation with the sister. Some of you guys might have been somebody else, but this is physical. I'm seeing, like, the fight between um, Kim Kardashian and, and Kourtney Kardashian. We have February 7th, so something might be important about February 7th. If you're invited somewhere February 7th, don't go, or there will be a fight, okay? Okay? I got my kind of life. Your kind of life is not their kind of life. Okay, your kind of life is not the same as others. And, and wherever you, you still uh, are in the frequency or the program of one size fits all, everything is for everybody. So like, you know, the, the, these programs put out about like, oh, this is what a good life is like. And this is what it's supposed to be. And everybody is happy if they do this. It's like, no, we're all different. We all have different things. And your kind of life is not theirs. I heard adapt. Okay, adapt to your new present loneliness. Okay, on my mama, I definitely feel like there's a lot of moms here that are given the toxic frequency. Okay, but you guys discern that. We have on his team. Okay, so somebody here is, is like secretly playing both sides. They're on the fence. They're like, they're trying to like weaponize people against you. And, and even somebody, there, somebody here has an ex or an old friend or a male. Okay, this could be a friend group. This could be an ex, whatever. But this male and you have gotten into some kind of fight okay or like you guys are not seeing eye to eye you guys are not on the same page this person has gone off 
um, and you guys are in space. You guys are not negative towards each other. This person does, is on their own. You're on your own. You or somebody or this person, this other person, this female or this other person who's around you, this person is going back and forth and causing tension between the two of you when you think that you're just taking space and whatever, there's someone else in between going back and forth and adding fuel to the fire. Trying to weaponize this person against you and trying to like almost use whatever they can to try to to bring you down. They cannot stand the idea of you ascending and them having to face what they live in. Adapt. Oh, I got that part already. Add Nazis. I don't even want to touch that. Um, learn more, I heard. So, you know, learn more about what makes you uncomfortable. Because there's something about, like, the reason you're even falling into this or the reason this is even a thing is because you're feeling very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable with the trigger, the loneliness, the, the like, the, the newness, right? So it's like, you know, you don't, you're not used to spending so much time on your own. You're not used to having to deal with things like this, right? You're used to having that kind of social interaction, but you've been isolating, you've been cleansing, you've been doing what you do for yourself. You know, a lot of you have been released of responsibilities. You've graduated. You've, um, you don't have to take care of somebody the way you did. Your children are a little older, right? So you're released of certain obligations or responsibilities or things have eased up. And because of that, you're triggered because you're left with yourself. And spirit is saying, learn more. Learn more about why you're uncomfortable. Ask questions. Listen to me. Secrets revealed. You guys have a lot of energy around you of spirits or guides, uh, benevolent beings that are trying to um, that are that are holding the space for you to discover things you have yet to know across the universe spill out enjoy the effect okay enjoy the effect enjoy the effect of all the hard work that you've put in enjoy the effect of all of the times that you worked on yourself and you faced yourself and you took accountability for your faults and you uh figured out where they came from you did discovery take accountability for all the times that you grabbed your key and you decided to let yourself out of your own dungeon allow yourself to appreciate and receive the effects of your hard work and labor do not sell yourself short to try and receive something from somebody who is pretending to be where you are but are, is not they are across the universe. They are not where you are. Injustice in the reverse, right? This is not the balance that you thought it was. This is not it. You, Some of you guys, you've had some good things come in and you think that that is all there is. Like, you should be happy with it. Like, you know, like when you get a gift and you learn to be appreciative, right? And so you're so afraid to let this go. Let these relationships go. Let these uh, patterns go with people because you feel like, well, what if there's nothing else? What if this is all I get? And what if I'm going to regret um, turning this away? Don't. That's a, that's a, you know, you're being tricked a little bit to try and remove you from this balance and from this uh, justice energy. Because this justice energy is going to be um, balancing things out for you. And right now you think you have it, but it's not. It has yet to fully come into effect. Okay. Look at February 7th. Okay, February 7th is very significant for this message. God bless you guys. I appreciate you guys staying to the end. Leave a comment. Let me know if you've heard some messages through the, the ghost scanner that I didn't. Let me know what resonates with you. Um, I appreciate that. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, click the bell icon. Allow other people to receive this message via the algorithm. And how we do that is letting YouTube know that you appreciate my content. God bless you guys. I leave you in the divine light of our divine creator. Until tomorrow.